In this video, we're gonna walk step-by-step -step through setting your podcast up on your WordPress website. Make sure you stick around to the end where we talk about distribution and getting your show live in places like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Hey there, Craig Hewitt here from Castos. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be diving in on one of the most popular topics that we face here at Castos, which is, hey, I want to have my podcast on my WordPress site. I want to use Seriously Simple Podcasting. How do I do it? How do I get started? And we're going to walk you step by step through this today in a brand new WordPress install that should look a lot like your current website and show you how to get your podcast set up, how to connect it to Castos, how to get your podcast live and get it in Apple Podcasts and Spotify. So here in WordPress, we have as much of a brand new install as I can have on one of our testing sites. And the first thing I wanna do here is to go to the plugins area and install Seriously Simple Podcasting. I'll do that by clicking add new plugin and I'll search for podcast. Should show up first or second option here. I see Seriously Simple Podcasting here and we'll go ahead and install this. It takes just a second to install it and then we'll activate. So after you activate, you're taken to the welcome screen and the wizard. And what we wanna do here is give our podcast a name. So, so let's say this is my awesome podcast and the description here. So this is, this is a few sentences about my show, can include and should include a few sentences here. This is becoming rich text soon. So you'll include links and bold and things like that here. For now, just plain text as we're recording this September, 2024. Okay, so we'll proceed to the next step which is to upload the cover image. And I have my cover image here off the screen. I'll just drag this in and upload it here. Great, I'll say select. So that is all good. I'm using the cover image from our podcast, which is called Audience. And I'll say proceed. Primary category. So your podcast is gonna show up in categories in Apple Podcasts and Spotify and other directories. And the goal here is to maximize discoverability of your show by picking appropriate categories. And this is just the primary one. So for us, I'll say, uh, ours is about business, and as far as the subcategory, I'll say marketing. Probably one of the most popular and uh, challenging competitive categories out there, but still that's kind of appropriate for us because we talk about podcasting and marketing and content creation, which is just really popular these days. I'll say proceed to the next step, which is where we'll connect your WordPress site and your seriously simple podcasting plugin install to the Castos platform. And to do this, what you'll need to do is click the start a free trial button to start a free 14 day trial of Castos as the hosting platform. And you'll get what's called an API key, which is a little connector that will connect these two pieces of software. So we'll go ahead and do this now. This will open up in a new tab and I'll go ahead and fast forward from here through, but we'll just register for a new account. And here we'll pick our plan. Uh, our growth plan is the most popular, so we'll pick that. And then I'll put in some super secret uh, credit card details here. And then click start my trial. So I started my free 14 day trial. And here uh, we're shown a, a kind of welcome message on the Castos platform side. And so you can just see up here in the URL bar, we're in Castos. And so what I wanna do is connect to my WordPress site. So you don't wanna start a new podcast from scratch in Castos because we're gonna create the podcast in WordPress. And in this case, we're not importing another podcast. So we wanna to connect to our WordPress site. So we've already installed the plugin, so that's great. We wanna copy that API token. Again, this is kind of a, a just a long uh, code that will go back into WordPress and, uh, and connect this with the email address that we just used to register our Castos account and this API key. So I've copied this. I'm gonna go back into WordPress and say, enter my API details. I'll paste that in and say, connect to Castos. Okay, great. Now we're connected in WordPress to the Castos platform. It's time to create our first episode, upload a file, publish it, and get our show live. So we'll say, let's start to create our first episode here and dismiss this thing. Uh, and so let's give this a title, my obligatory uh, Star Wars reference. And this is where you'll give it a title. This is like the subject line or the title of the blog post. Uh, and we'll give this a description too. And so this is the episode description, long form, right? And so all of this uh, is just like creating a regular blog post. You'll have a couple of sentences about what the episode is about, maybe a list of things that you talked about, bullet points, 
And, and then links mentioned, so people's social media handles or websites or references that you mentioned as part of the episode. Okay, so we've created this part. Now it's time to upload the file that we have to the Cast Us platform, which is the place where your audio and video files are hosted. You're not hosting those on your WordPress site. It's one of the big advantages of using Seriously Simple Podcasting with WordPress and Castos is you manage all of your content from your WordPress site, but the files are hosted externally. Your RSS feed is external. You are getting analytics from the Castos platform, which are much more robust than you're able to get in WordPress. A lot of benefits. Um, but we do want to keep the publishing workflow based in WordPress. And so we've done that, and now it's time to upload that file. And you can see up here at the top, it's a very short file, so this happens very fast, but you can see and confirm that the file is uploading to the Castos platform, which is great. And you can see down here below, we see this episodes.castos.com and a bunch of really long stuff here uh, that the file is uploaded and we're ready to go. So now we can, uh, you can, and so now we can publish this episode and take a look at the player on the front end. And then we'll talk a little bit about distribution and how to get your show live. Okay, great. We've published our first. And so now we can publish this episode and take a look at the player on the front end. And then we'll talk a little bit about distribution and how to get your show live. Okay, great. We've published our first podcast episode on our WordPress site and connected to Castos. You can see here that we have the cover image and we have the file here and it plays right in the browser where folks want to come and connect with you and your brand and your website. And so this is a great way to embed podcast functionality in your WordPress site, which is kind of the dream for most of us as content creators. Cool. Okay, so let's go back into our WordPress site here and talk a little bit about some of the settings in the distribution area. So when we installed Seriously Simple Podcasting, we have this podcasting area of our site and we can take a look at the episodes, right? So we have our first episode here, that's great. Uh, you can add new podcasts if you want here. So if you want to have multiple podcasts, you can create as many as you want, and that happens here. Uh, and then the thing I want to talk about is finishing setting up the uh, RSS feed so we can talk about distribution of places like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And we do that here in the feed details area. So we have our very first podcast, which we called My Awesome Podcast. And we can give it a little more information here. So we had our first category. You can pick two other categories. So maybe we want to pick, you know, one like this maybe. Uh, let's see, health and fitness. Let's talk about medicine maybe. You can pick a few more. If you want to expound and make a little more detail and text here, this is really good for SEO, search engine optimization and discovery of your podcast in platforms like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you want to replace the cover image, you can do that here. So this feed details area is really the place where all of the settings at a podcast level happen for your site in WordPress. These also all filter back over to your Castos platform. And so you can see here we've synced all of our podcast information, so the podcast as a whole and the cover image, as well as the episodes. So if you ever need to take a look at your episode here, you want to reference the audio file, you can do that. You can do everything in Castos that you're doing in WordPress. It really is a mirror of your content in WordPress. Cool. Uh, so back here in the WordPress dashboard, this is just information about your podcast as a whole. Again, this is in the feed details area. And the really important thing here, we want to take a look at the RSS feed of our podcast because this is the thing in air quotes that will submit to places like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And I've got a video right up here that talks about how you can get your podcast live in Apple Podcasts and Spotify in just a couple of minutes. 